not... Yes, Your Honor. Well, I disagree with your basic assessment of the facts. No, I understand. Thank you for your time. That was the Honorable Naomi Kushner. And what do we think about Judge Kushner around these parts? Left-wing hack. Yes, the good judge won't give me a no-knock warrant for known associates of Nelts. And that's just fine. War games, war rules. Mm. <sighs> Captain Dawes, Mendoza, I... the three of us are a tribal council. And I'm very aware that we're having problems with one of the members of our tribe. He didn't take the money. <laughs> you were testing me. <laughs> well, we had to know if we could trust you. You know, from the very beginning, your partner assured me that we could. Now, you said that Nels was talking about a deal with Stoddard. Yeah, he sure did. Well, I need you to go back to Nels's office and get me something that I can take to Internal Affairs. I realize that a hurricane's incoming, detectives. But this can't wait. Yes, sir. Jesus! CSI's already been through here. What's the point? Well, they weren't looking for evidence against Stoddard. Look, we find anything, we go directly to Dawes. This goes to internal affairs. Dawes can't control what happens. You do trust Dawes, right? Look, Stoddard going down doesn't look good for anyone. Now, Stoddard's dirty. You know it, I know it. I'll keep watch out here. You go inside, find the evidence we need to take him down. Gladly. Howdy folks, welcome back, it's Impulse here, bringing you some next play on Battlefield Hardline, this is episode 8, and I was going to do a live commentary, it messed up, so I decided to do another thing, so when you see me point at the floor and nothing shows up, it's because I've already recently done it, but it messed up, so I had to do a com uh, record that one part again, so I do apologize. Right then. Uh, the reason uh, I'm doing want to talk, what I want to talk about in this video is quite simply, Blues and Twos has uploaded a video of him saying how much his uh, first week at uh, being on the PC is, and how much he's enjoying it, and how much the fact that the graphics are way better on the other console, it, it, it constantly keeping 60 frames per second, and it feels a lot better. And to be honest, as I don't know if you know this, but Blues and Twos originally was a PC gamer who swapped to the console for a few months has now swapped back to the uh, PC. So t for Blues, it's not so much of a alien kind of situation than it is for me. I have the issue of the fact that I've never ever played on the PC in playing games. I was a console player, so therefore it's a little bit alien sometimes for me. But however, I'm getting used to it. I'm enjoying it. I just love the fact I can create my own sensitivity. I've been doing a bit of key binding on Battlefield, uh, roughly translated on vehicles, because when you do vehicles, you can sort one or two as your primary and secondary weapon. However, you can change that with the F button. So I've changed uh, key binder. So one, two, three, four, five, and six are all seats. So you know, if you're in certain vehicles, you can change different seats and positions. That I found instead of using the F keys. So I quite like the fact that you can do that. Uh, but I got a friend. I've put this comment on Blues and Two's video. You can see the comment on, on there, and quite a few people quite like that comment. Uh, I got a friend. He, he ran a drive buses, and he's under. It, a lot of people like this. A lot of people have this, and he believes that uh, consoles are for gaming, PC are for word processing, spreadsheets, video editing, photograph editing, searching the web, all that kind of thing. Except for gaming, it's not a gaming console. It's not for gaming, so it shouldn't do gaming. That's his opinion, and I just said no. You can have a low-range PC; it'll play graphics at minimal settings or to low low to minimal settings 
and you can have a bit of fun. However, then mostly these PCs are designed for video to ed video editing because you can get really low cost graphics cards which are not designed for gaming but they are designed for doing video and photographic editing. I used to have one. <laughs> um, I then said you've got your mid-range, you have your mid-range entry level, which my PC originally was, with the R9270X, well, it was just above, mine was mid-range. The mid-range entry level is the 270. Uh, I've now got the 270X, which is the high card range for the, mi for the mid uh, PCs. So my graphics, I can play most games, almost every single game on Ultra. Sometimes I do have to knock off uh, MSA just to give myself the constant 80 and 90 frames I normally get so when I'm recording that frame count does drop slightly. And then you have your high range PCs, the ones like uh, Blue, uh, Tango Echo Alpha with two GTIs, uh, GT GTX 980Ti's and it's also is uh, i7 for I, uh, i7 4790K you know, that's what he has on 16 or 32 gig of RAM. I'm not quite sure. I think it's 16 or 32 and one of those two. That's what he had. That's the high range. But then he said, yeah. I said, look, these have got graphics far, far superior. The mid-range graphics uh, PC has better graphics on the Xbox and the PlayStation 4. I said, that, no problem. He goes, yeah, yeah, but he goes, these, you buy the PC within two years, you have to buy new parts because it's out of date. And I said, yes, fair enough, but it gives you a couple of years. You can play, you can buy a PC, if you do it right, you can have a PC which will be able to run for five years before upgrading. And I said, my PC probably will need upgrading within the next two years. But, you know, yes. But, however, I said, with the console, yes, you don't upgrade. But at the end of the day, the console is out of date anyway. He went, what do you mean? I said, the... The graphics card, the CPU on the PS4 and the Xbox One is around about five years old. It's an older, system, older so, uh, gra uh, hardware. It's the only way they can make the console affordable. You know? Fair enough. So let me know what you think of that. You know, it's coming to the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And the next two episodes are going to be a little bit longer. I do apologise for that. But until next time, it's me, Impulse, signing off. And I'll catch you all very, very soon. Take care now, folks. Bye for now. Wouldn't be storing his cash there. Nope. That's why I got the warehouse's address. It's worth a drive by. <laughs>